Let's talk about how AI is transforming the legal industry. If you've always wondered what it would be like to have an AI lawyer at your fingertips, or a tool that helps your legal team write out documents, assesses risk, analyzes clauses, and generates case summaries, I made this video for you. Legal is one of the most powerful AI niches to come out of this revolution. Many of these tools are so powerful that big law firms are actually restructuring their workflows just to integrate them. So ChatGPT was released in November of 2022. And just look at this insane surge in searches for AI lawyer soon after that. Now that did decrease in the following year, mainly because AI startups really just needed time to bootstrap and to solve these problems. But we're seeing continued growth now, and I predict that more of these tools will grow and emerge in 2025. So if you're looking for tools to help you win your next case, stick around. If you, a friend or family member is an attorney and they're looking for a trending legal AI startup with 300% growth in just two years, check this out. It's called Robin AI. Robin is an AI company that uses artificial intelligence to speed up the process of reviewing and managing legal documents. Their tech makes it way easier to understand these docs. It also automates a bunch of these really long and mundane tasks, so legal teams can save a lot of time and money. Robin AI has three key modules for contract customization, draft, review, and query. The draft module lets you create contracts from pre-built templates, which already massively speeds up the process. With review, you can edit and negotiate contracts with AI-assisted live suggestions based on customized negotiating playbooks. Basically, it just makes sure that you don't miss anything in the jumble. The query module gives you a searchable contract library that allows you to quickly find and analyze relevant provisions across multiple documents. So whether you have your own practice or you're part of a big firm, Robin AI has a plan for you. For bigger firms, their platform can hire a large volume of contracts. Plus, they make contract review 80% faster than traditional methods. So let's quickly recap a few of the tasks that they're gonna take off your plate. Automated drafting and customization using AI, customizable templates designed by legal experts, real-time suggestions and recommendations during contract negotiation, AI-powered clause identification and risk assessment, collaborative contract editing and version tracking, and more. Reviews do seem mixed, but overall positive, citing document accuracy, time saving, and risk assessment. That said, it still is important to review everything because the tech isn't quite there yet, where we have 100% confidence that it just replaces all of these jobs. They do have a free version, but right now their pro version is at 100 per month. They've already stacked over $43 million in Series B funding, and given their relatively low search volume, I would say this one is definitely set to continue scaling in 2025, so keep an eye out. Here's a legal AI platform with over 1,000% search growth in the past two years alone. Let's talk about Harvey AI. No, I'm not talking about the guy from Suits. Basically, it's a generative AI platform for big legal firms, and it's able to analyze contracts, identify clauses, and extract important terms and conditions. Their overall goal is to help law firms boost efficiency, reduce risk, and allocate more time to higher value tasks. Things like building client relationships and giving strategic legal advice. In a nutshell, it takes care of a lot of the busy work so the lawyers can actually move faster and with more agility. Let's take a look at a few more features here. Faster identification of relevant clauses, statutes and precedents, automated contract summaries and flagging potential issues, multi-language support for analyzing clauses across different jurisdictions, assistance in drafting and revising legal documents, reducing that manual work. This one's pretty cool. Predictive analytics for forecasting case outcomes and assessing risk. Enhanced legal research capabilities, providing relevant case law and statutes quickly. It's even got a secure project workspace for analyzing protection documents. While Robin AI works for a variety of different clients, Harvey is mainly targeted at larger firms. So let's talk about reviews and testimonials. Alan Overy, which is now a and Shearman, one of the world's largest firms, had 3,500 lawyers test Harvey AI by asking over 40,000 questions about day-to-day -day work. The head of their market's innovation said, I have never seen anything like Harvey. Harvey can work in multiple languages and across diverse practice areas, delivering unprecedented efficiency and intelligence. In our trial, we saw some amazing results. After scrolling around their site, it looks like pricing is customized to the firm, but if you're a big firm, this definitely seems like the best option around. Harvey AI has stacked over 200 million in Series C funding, and considering their list of pretty impressive clients, I would say this one is set to continue growing in 2025. Are you looking for an AI legal assistant that can read, analyze, and summarize legal documents at a post-grad level? If so, let's talk about case text. 
Case Tax was recently acquired by Thomson Reuters for an insane $650 million. Co-counsel, their Gen AI legal assistant, is now the pretty face of the company. It leverages GPT to automate legal tasks like doc review, legal research, deposition prep, and contract analysis. It does this by combining natural language processing and Boolean search, which is basically a mathematical system that says variables can either have two answers, a one or a zero, a true or a false. And this is really important when it comes to legal applications, because AI can sometimes default the easiest possible solution, or even hallucinate, when you need something really concrete with a bunch of pre-existing rules in place. For anybody who uses AI regularly, you know how frustrating it can be to have something hallucinate. Like for example, I have tried to get stats about specific industries using AI before, and sometimes it just makes the stats up. And then when I ask the AI, hey, provide the actual source, it says, oh, I can't do that. And I say, why? It's because, oh, I just fabricated that result. So you can imagine in a legal situation, there's no room for anything like this. And that's why this combination of natural language processing and Boolean search is so important. Let's say you've got a deposition coming up. Just provide all the info about your deponent and it'll give you all these really great pointed questions. It also makes doc review an interactive and really simple process. To mitigate risk, you can also upload all your documents and it'll scan through everything to try and find potential conflicts. Their core assistant clocks in at 225 per month with customized pricing for larger firms. Now I went looking on Reddit to see what people actually think. I dug into reviews and blog posts and it looks like they do still have some improvements to make, but overall people are happy with the price, the citation check, and their integrations. Now overall this one has had strong and steady growth over the past five years, and I hope that they can keep that momentum going post acquisition and grow even further this year. So let's find out. Let's look at a specialized AI legal assistant with almost 9,000% search growth in the past two years alone, and that is Paxton AI. Legal research, which normally takes dozens if not hundreds of hours, can now be shortened down to just a few minutes. Sounds too good to be accurate, right? Well, Paxton boasts a 94% accuracy rate with its legal research tool. I mean, the whole platform was created out of this demand for faster and more efficient research and drafting. It excels at documents drafting with legal precedents integrated, comprehensive document analysis, AI-assisted contextual research, and the overall ability to deepen and expand on your existing work. Like Robin, Paxton is great for all firms, big and small. For the smaller firms, it's great because it provides a lot of research ability without all the paralegal help. While digging into the reviews on this one, I found one user that said, I had a friend who needed a release and a waiver for her dance studio with a large customer base of children. I researched the applicable release laws for minors in my jurisdiction, and then asked Paxton to draft a waiver that complied with those laws. I had it done and sent in 20 minutes. Now, if you're an independent lawyer or a student, this one is great because they do have a student option at just 25 per month. And if you're a small firm, their pro plan starts at a pretty reasonable 159 per month. They've already stacked 6 mil in seed funding, and given their search growth, I would say this one is definitely set to continue scaling, so check them out today. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into legal AI tools. We are going to keep monitoring this niche to bubble up any new startups and platforms that have insane growth and applications for both big and small firms. If you have any questions about these or you'd like us to analyze a specific trend, let's chat in the comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in our next video.